Jimmy Wilson je američki pevač i tekstopisac, a ulogu u filmu Michaela Jacksona ga je doveli u Evropu, u Nemačku, gde i sada živi, a gde je i upoznao našu mladu dizajnerku, Taru Katarinu Ćirković, zbog koje je danas u Srbiji. Nama je otkrio nešto više o njegovom prijateljstvu sa Tarom Katarinom i podelio utiske koje je na njega ostavila Srbija. So far from what I've seen, um, the first time I came was in, I believe, September. Okay. Um, as you probably know, I, I met Tara Katarina in Frankfurt, and uh, that was for Fashion Week in July this year, and uh, had a really good connection, and then I came to visit just private uh, in September. I was one of the uh, celebrity uh, performers together with Dino Rhodes, Uh, the singer from the Weather Girls, and we performed um, on three events where Tara Katarina presented her fashions, and I was just totally, totally impressed with this beautiful young talent uh, from Serbia that I just had to get to know more about her. My first visit here, like I said, in September, um, I met other wonderful artists, painters, sculptures, uh, screenwriters. Amazing. This is, this is really the, I want to say the truth, because you know how it is, celebrities, they go on TV and they just say blah, they say what they, what you um, think the audience wants to hear. But the reality is I had such great connections with people here that just inspired me and which is why I did not hesitate to come back again um, but especially to support uh, Tower Katarina. You know I've traveled all over the world and I must have I've performed in easily over 30 countries on five continents and um, I'm always asked this question what do you think about the country? Well I haven't I don't know the country I know some people in the country so it's hard to give a full picture of a culture when you've only met 20 people. So, but the people that I've met, I've been it's extremely inspired by. Um, since being here for Belgrade Fashion Week, I've met many other talented young uh, designers and other artists. And um, I see the, you know, the talent is everywhere, but the goal is to find it. And um, there's a lot of untapped talent in Serbia that I'm actually in, in, inspired to, to see what's out there. Okay. Uh, I want to say art before business, um, but it's, it's, about, it's about the whole experience. And for me in general, when I travel and perform in different countries, it's never only about business. You know, you have to enjoy uh the ride you know you have to enjoy the pleasures in between you know this is this business i don't know i'm having kind of fun right now so but some people might see it as me doing business you know doing the tv uh interview but this is all a part of it and i enjoy it you know i appreciate that people are interested in me to want to interview me so you know it's inspiring and I, And again, you know, I'm, I get the opportunity to interest, introduce myself to another country, which I think is awesome. I perform, like I said, in over 30 countries, but it's my first time uh, Wednesday night at Tara Katarina's show here in Belgrade was my very first performance in Serbia. So, and I'm, and I'm proud of that. Now and how I, it was like? It was awesome. It was really, really awesome. Um, hey. We rock the house, that's all I can say. <laughs> Jimmy studied in Glum, and people from the world were able to watch the film Sisterella, which is producer Michael Jackson. He told us how it came to that role, but also how was Michael Jackson was outside the camera. It's funny, with my career, a lot of things just happened. Of course, I put the effort into going to auditions and to study. Um, but with Sisterella, it was... Um, Yeah, luck has a lot to do with it. Sure, Michael Jackson thought I was a talented singer, but he was uh, a producer, there, right? Michael Jackson is producer uh, uh, was a producer of Sisterella, and Sisterella is a pretty much a black version of Cinderella. 
that is the story of the of, of Sisterella, and I play the, the, the leading male role, um, the prince in the musical. And um, I mean, I'm an artist, so I'm always critical of myself, but as long as Michael Jackson was happy with my performance, then who am I to, to uh, not, not like that? I had the pleasure of meeting him on several occasions. Um, you know, this was a long time ago. I was even on the Neverland Ranch, and you know, so I was able to see firsthand, you know, all the things that you see on TV, the animals and bubbles, you know, the monkey I even played with. It sounds crazy, but it's true, it's really true. Um, but one of the biggest um, highlights of being in the musical Sisterella was meeting Michael Jackson's mother. Oh. She was in the audience, we were playing in Los Angeles at the time, at uh, Pasadena Playhouse, and um, she was in the audience nearly every night. And not only his mother, but half of Hollywood was in the audience every night because, you know, everyone wanted to see what Michael Jackson was doing. So I'm on stage and I look out in the audience, there's Kevin Costner, there's uh, Angela Bassett, there's uh, David Hasselhoff. I mean, celebrities in the audience every single night. So you can imagine what I felt like on stage, you know, and it was really like my first major role. Um, it was quite... Uh, Scary, I must say, you have all these Hollywood stars looking at you on stage. But the biggest compliment came from Michael Jackson's mother when I got a message from her saying that she was a fan of mine. And I was like, wait a minute, the mother of the king of pop is a fan of mine? That was like one of the, one of the highlight compliments of my career. And I was lucky enough to get to know her pretty well. Uh, I was invited often to, to her home for, for lunch, for coffee, so it was a wonderful experience. S obzirom na to da je uspešan pevač, zanimalo nas je da li poznaje nekog našeg pevača, kao i da li bi snimio duet sa nekim. Again, I travel all over, but you can't know everything, and I can't say that I know, like, um, your biggest singer in Serbia. I, I must admit, I don't know. Um, but I do know... Um, you know, since being involved with Tara Katarina, of course, I want to find out more about, you know, uh, different artists and things like that. And um, I know that Tara was interested in interviewing um, one of your, I want to say, uh, internet stars of, of Serbia, which I also think is a cool guy. So, uh, uh, what's his name again? Uh, Sergei... Um, Pajic. Pajic. Pajic? Pajic? Sergei Pajic. Well, I only know him from, from uh, Instagram and seems like a really, really cool guy. And um, if the right singer came along, you know, I, you know, has to fit, you know. You know, um, a duet, sure, why not? I'm open, you know. But again, it has to fit, so. Jimmy izbacio novu pesmu pod nazivom Respect, te nam je otkrio kakvu poruku ona šalje. Um, my current single is called Respect. I wrote and produced the song. It's also on my, my own record company. And uh, yeah, respect. I think respect is a word that you can translate in, in any language and you know what it means. You treat me the way you want me to treat you. You're nice to me, I'm nice to you. And that is the borderline uh, uh, concept of respect, you know. Uh, and even in the lyrics of the song, it says, do unto others as you would have them do unto you. Like I just said, you treat me how you want to be treated, and that's the basis of respect. And uh, it also has to do with, um, um, yeah, respecting border lines and, and uh, just being free to be who you are without any, um, you know, fear. The same cry. Jimmy nam je otpevao svoju novu pesmu, a mi se nadamo ponovnom susretu sa njim. Can you read the signs? Erasing borderlines. Can you define freedom in a world that's blind? Mm-hmm. Do one to others. As you would have them do unto you. We're in this world together. This is a golden rule. 
It's all about respect, total respect, yeah. It's all about respect. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. Quiet.